Hello friends, welcome back to another video of AutomationTestingSeries.com. So in the last video we talked about SDLC process, software development lifecycle. So in this particular video I'm going to talk about waterfall model. So there are different models in the industry to develop this software, develop the software. Okay, so to follow the SDLC process, software development lifecycle process. So what are the different models we have in the industry? So we have waterfall model, we have iterative model, we have spiral model, we have agile model, we have derived model, we have a prototype model, we have hybrid model. So these are the different models we have in the industry to develop any software. And uh, waterfall model is the traditional model. And uh, yeah, so in this particular video, I'm going to talk about what is waterfall model, when to use waterfall model, and what are its advantage and disadvantages. Okay, so let's talk about like what is waterfall model. So waterfall model is a base model or basic model and uh, it's traditional model and it's very old model. So it is also called linear sequential model. So if you, if you have seen the last video like we have certain phases in development, software development life cycle like we have requirement system in investigation, we have requirement analysis, design, coding, testing and release and maintenance. So in waterfall model we used to follow all these process, all these phases step by step in a li linear sequential ma manner. So this is the reason it is called linear sequential model as well. So it's like waterfall, like uh, from top to bottom, uh, all the phases are in a linear sequential manner. So that's the reason it's like ladder. Okay, so once, uh, until unless if one first phase is not completed, we cannot jump to the next phase. So that is the uh, important concept behind this waterfall model and we cannot cam come back from the uh, uh, the next step to the previous step as well. So we'll talk more about waterfall model in my PPT as well. So this is about the waterfall model and when to use. Uh, so when the project is very uh, short, uh, it's, it's not complex, then we can go for waterfall model. and. Uh, Another thing is if requirement is clear, then we, we should go for waterfall model. So I'll take you to my system and I'll show you in PPT like what are its advantage and disadvantages of waterfall model. So let's get started. So let's talk about what are the different software models we have in the industry. So any project development has to follow SDLC phases. So we talked about SDLC phases like requirement analysis, design, coding, testing, and release and maintenance. And based on the size of the project, cost, availability, we can implement different models as per uh, SDLC phases. And each model has its different approach, guys. So let me talk about what are the different models we have. Waterfall model, which is called linear sequential model, we'll discuss about uh, today and uh, iterative model, spiral model, V model, agile development model and agile development model is very frequently using nowadays and it's very important. Protect, uh, prototype model, hybrid model and derived model. So these are the different models we have in the industry to develop any software and mainly today we'll focus on waterfall model and in coming days, uh, I'll explain each and every models, whatever we have listed down here. So let's get started with the waterfall model. So as I have discussed earlier, the waterfall model illustrates the software development process in a linear sequential flow. In the next slide, I'll show you like what do you mean by this linear sequential flow because there are uh, different uh, phases in waterfall model like SDLC and that is in uh, linear sequential flow, linear sequential manner. This means that any phase in the development process begins only if the previous phase is complete. And waterfall model is sequential model that divides software development into predefined phases. Each phase must be completed before the next phase can begin with no overlap between the phases. Now let's understand with the help of uh, representation guys so I'll create uh, I'll draw a diagram so that you can understand it better so as we have discussed different phases are there in the 
software development life cycle like we have requirement analysis design yeah, so these are the different phases in waterfall model like we have requirement analysis and you can say feasibility study as well and we have design design coding testing and release and maintenance so uh, the flow is like once requirement analysis and feasibility feasibility study is done so the requirements will be freezed so the flow will be like this then only we can jump to the next part design part and once the design is done design will be done by the uh, the architect who designs the complete uh, framework architecture and once the design is done based on the requirements then developers will start coding implementation or coding will be started at that time and then once coding is done then tester will perform the testing and at this point we'll perform all kind of testing all kind of system testing uh, all levels of testing and then if anything uh, we if we get any defects then we'll revert it back to our coding team developers and they will fix the defects and then last is release and maintenance once testing is done everything is done if everything is working correctly then we'll deploy the product so this is how it looks like the waterfall model phase by phase and it is linear sequential flow because uh, from requirement analysis we are going to design then coding testing and maintenance so this is uh, in a in a in a flow right in linear sequential flow so if you see like waterfall so waterfall looks like this water is flowing uh, it's flowing from the top to bottom like this this in a linear sequential manner so that's why a uh, waterfall diagram looks like this only in this way you don't see like uh, this uh, anywhere in the waterfall model okay so it looks like this because of it represents the waterfall and we cannot come back uh, once our uh, the phases are done right so suppose requirement is done feasibility study is done and we jump to the next phase then we cannot come back and change the requirement so this is not possible in waterfall model same thing over here we cannot come back and design again from the implementation the design part similarly for testing as well we cannot ask the developers to start the new uh, uh, testing for the new functionalities so this is also not happening and the last as well so this is useful for smaller projects well in the next slide i uh, will understand will understand like what uh, when we should use waterfall model yeah and this is the oldest model uh, traditional model and this is also called basic model as well so let's have a look the next slide So when to go for waterfall model so when requirements are not changing frequently then we should use waterfall model another thing is application is not complicated and big as i have discussed earlier like it it should be small project then we can go for waterfall model project is short and requirements is very much clear environment is stable and technology and tools used are not dynamic and stable so these are the different uh, things which for which we should go for waterfall model then what are the different advantages of waterfall model so this model is easy to understand and easy to implement it is suitable for small and medium sized projects no change in the middle of the project so there won't be any changes in the middle of the project suppose we want to change any requirement then it uh, this model doesn't allow that it is suitable for projects if requirements are finalized in the beginning there are some disadvantages of waterfall model like no feedback path so what do you mean by this so 
so in this model it assumes that no error is ever committed by the developers during any phases therefore it does not incorporate any mechanism for error correction so once everything is done we cannot come back uh, in the phase of waterfall model once one phase is done we cannot come back from the previous phase next phase to uh, next phase to previous phase so there is no change uh, chance of feedback not a good model for complex and object oriented projects poor model for long and ongoing projects and cannot accommodate changing requirements so it will not take the if requirements are changing frequently so this is all for today guys so thank you for watching please like share this video and comment if you have any questions and uh, please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos in the next video probably we'll discuss about iterative model thank you so much have a nice day bye bye